All right, this is a Sports Talk with Desmond Witt, episode one. It is Thursday, November 1st, 2018. Halloween was last night. Crazy, crazy sports news already. Derrick Rose dropped 50 points last night, went 19 for 31 shooting, made four out of seven three-pointers, had six assists, four rebounds. For the year, he's averaging 18 points, five assists, and four rebounds. Pretty good numbers. I think he'll be sixth man of the year up there, top three, top two, having a good season. Next, we'll go to, well, let's start with, you can see right here, Chicago Bulls. That's my team. They're not doing very well right now. They're two and six, but on a good note, Zach Levine's averaging 28 points per game. So that's pretty good for him, having a good season. The Lakers, who got, got their third win last night by one point, 113-114 against the Mavericks. And they are now 3-5, and five, so it's all right, I guess. But with LeBron, they should be better. But they're still trying to figure themselves out right now. The crazy thing about it, LeBron is averaging 28-8-8. Eight, eight and eight. It's 28 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists. Crazy numbers. But something I want people to know about that team, someone that people might not pay much attention to but is getting numbers right now, that's JaVale McGee. He's averaging 16 points and 7 rebounds a game. It might not last for long, but right now, 8 games in the season, that's what he's averaging. So even if he averages like 10 points and 7 rebounds, that's still pretty good. Right now, the points is the most shocking with 16 a game. Let's see what I got next. Uh, Clay Thompson on Monday night against the Bulls, of course. He made an NBA record, 14 three-pointers in a game. He finished the game with 52 points. So that was pretty good. Pelicans last night, Golden State beat them. Steph Curry had 37 points and 9 assists. Not only that, he had 7 three-pointers in that game, which people, he's obviously the best three-pointer sh shooter of all time. Can't we say that? Because on the list you look at Ray Allen, Reggie Miller, and then it's Steph Curry, who's at half the games they played to get to where he is. And he's going to destroy that record if he has two more seasons healthy. It's going to be insane, but yeah, looking at the best shooter, he gets another ring. He might go down top 10, 15 all-time player because that means he'll have four rings, two MVPs, one is unanimous, best three-point shooter of all time, all sorts of stuff you can put up there, but yeah. And right now, I'll just break down the top three teams in the East and the West for the NBA. The Bucks 7-0, and Raptors 7-1, and and Celtics 5-2 and for the East. Top three for the West, Golden State eight and one, the Nuggets six and one, and the Blazers five and two. Move on to some NFL news tonight. There's a game eight twenty. Well, eight twenty if you're on the East Coast. I think it's five twenty if you're on the West Coast. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I think that's how it is. I should know. I have a college degree, but whatever. Oh, uh, let's go. Let's see. Yeah, eight twenty. Raiders versus Niners. I got Raiders winning that. Not much NFL news. The trade deadline just happened. So if you didn't know what happened between that. Packers traded Ty Montgomery after he had a major fumble last weekend to the Ravens. Um, they also traded Ha Ha Clinton Dix to the Redskins. Demarius Thomas got traded to the Texans. Golden Tate got traded to the Eagles. And that's most of the major trades. Um, but I'm just going to tell you my weak picks. I can just go through them real quick. I got the... Got the Bears being the Bills, Chiefs being the Browns, Dolphins being the Jets, Vikings being the Lions, Redskins being the Falcons, Panthers being the Bucks, Ravens being the Steelers, Texans beating the Broncos, Chargers being the Seahawks, Saints beating the Rams, the Patriots beating the Packers, and the Cowboys beating the Titans. And those, there's two in there that are like really important, like Packers versus Patriots. I really want to see that because it's Aaron Rodgers versus Tom Brady, two of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, just going to be throwing bombs. Just straight sharp shooting in there, you know. They're just laser pointing those things. But anyways, the other game is, like I said, I got the Saints beating the Rams. And right now the Rams are undefeated, but I think the Saints can do it because they put up a lot of scoring, big numbers. The defense might be not be the greatest, but they put up the points. 
And last week you saw the Rams, they almost lost the Packers if Ty Montgomery wouldn't have fumbled that. And what was it, the kickoff? Punt? He, all I know is he fumbled it. And Aaron Rodgers didn't even get a shot to try to win the game, which usually when he does, he wins it. So that's a bummer. They traded Ty, Ty Montgomery like the next day, so shows you consequences right there. But anyways, some NFL news right there. Let's get to the playoffs. As of now, the NFC, the Rams and Saints would have a bye. The Redskins, Bears, Panthers, and Seahawks would all make it and play that first week. I don't know how they would – I don't know who would play who, but that's – and for the AFC, the Chiefs and Patriots would have a bye right now, and the Chargers, Steelers, Texans, and Bengals would play in week one somehow some in some, uh, like, way against each other, you know. NCAA, well, Maryland fired their coach, their head football coach, D.J. Durkin, after Jordan McNair – a player for the team got sick May 29th from a workout and then died June 13th. And uh, the coach was hired in 2015 in December, and now he's fired. So people have been wanting this, and finally it happens five months after this uh, terrible event. But it happened progress, I guess, but should have happened sooner. But it's all right, sooner than later, or Rather late than never, I guess. But, yeah. Well, it's MMA UFC 230 is going to be on Saturday, two days, November 3rd. You got the heavyweight champion of the world, Daniel Cormier, going against Derek Lewis. And I got Daniel Cormier winning that because Derek Lewis is dangerous. He's got knockout power, of course. But if he gets tired out, Cormier is just going to take him down and... Possibly ground upon him, more likely a submission, and that's how I feel about that fight. The next Jacare versus Weidman, I got Jacare winning. I feel like he's been on a losing streak. He's going to get back in there, Jacare. But uh, Weidman, he's a good wrestler, but I think Jacare wouldn't mind being on the ground because he's such a good submission artist. David Branch versus uh, Kanoine. I don't know how to say that person's last name I've never seen him fight in the UFC yet and he might be new but I got David Branch winning that next fight Robertson versus Marshman Marshman has more experience but uh I want to give it to Robertson on this fight so all right we got Derek Brunson versus Israel Adesanya I think that's how hopefully how you say it and I got uh, Israel winning that um, he's got, I think he has the reach advantage. I'm not sure. Brunson was talking about the size and all that stuff when they had a the pre-fight conference months ago. Um, I just feel like, uh, he's been doing enough to win, whether it's a decision or a TKO, and I think he'll do it this time too. Derek Rose, that was a baller performance. Let me sh show my support, my old D Rose, bold jersey, shirt jersey. Crazy vintage D Rose, like the MVP from 2011. Amazing player. He still has the talent always. It's just you got to have the confidence to let that game come out. But yeah, shirt jerseys. I love shirt jerseys. As you can see, I have this little one. This is a toddler 3T. I have a normal size normal, but this one fits on the wall nicely over here. So yeah, but shirt jerseys, I like those because uh, they're not as crazy as regular jerseys. Like people think you're a fool if you're just walking around wearing a regular jersey. At least a shirt jersey is like a little more casual. I don't even wear them that often, but I mean, if I wear something, I'd rather wear a shirt jersey than a regular jersey. But yeah, that's just my random thought about me and how I feel about that. Let me show you this other shirt I got here. This was a cool buy other than I washed it in the, I think wrong, and it kind of started to fade, but the goat shirt with Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Kobe Bryant. Toddler 3T, I have a normal size normal, but this one fits on the wall nicely over here. So, yeah, but shirt jerseys, I like those because uh, they're not as crazy as regular jerseys. Like, people think you're a fool if you're just walking around wearing a regular jersey. At least a shirt jersey is, like, a little more casual. I don't even wear them that often, but, I mean, if I wear something, I'd rather wear a shirt jersey than a regular jersey. 
But yeah, that's just my random thought about me and how I feel about that. Let me show you this other shirt I got here. This was a cool buy other than I washed it in the, I think wrong, and it kind of started to fade, but the GOAT shirt with Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Kobe Bryant. Another thing I want to address is Vince Carter's still out here dunking like he's young. He's got young legs left in him, so... Vince Carter, he should be in the 2019 dunk contest. Even if it's just for fun, he still has a chance. My favorite player of all time, BC15, Insanity. My favorite number is 15, too, because of Vince Carter. It's crazy. When I was playing basketball, I always used to wear 15 because of him, too. Got to see him play in 2003. Uh, no, not 2003. What's wrong with me? 2001, I was in third grade. And I got to see Vince Carter. Raptors vs. Bulls, it was awesome. I had my little Vince Carter Raptors jersey and everything. Let me show you this. So here's Vince Carter throwback 2000. Need you back in this thing. Through the leg. Football number one loser. There you go. Ironically, I'm tied for last place right now. 2-6. and six. So hopefully I don't have to keep this and I have to ship it somewhere. I don't care if I have to pay $15 to ship this. I don't want this thing here. This is what I want here. The real trophy, the winner trophy, fantasy football champion. It says, see, I can't even, there we go. All right. That's the one I want. So you can see I got my other podcast I do with my friend Brandon, the Revenge of the Cool Kids, right there, somewhere in my custom Revenge of the Cool Kids shirt. Number 15. Look at that. Yep. Yeah. I said I'm all about 15. And uh, not much I want to say. Uh, I'm going to Syracuse first. The University of Buffalo. I'm going to Syracuse versus the University of Buffalo. That's on uh, Tuesday, December 18th. It'll be a good basketball game. I've never been to a college basketball game, Division One at least. I've been to Division One college football. I've been to NFL game, NBA game, uh, MLB game, MLS game, NHL, everything, boxing, UFC, but never been to a college basketball game, Division One. So that'll be fun. I don't know who I'm going to cheer on, though. Syracuse? because I Little Undertaker figure. i got a, the back set up right here. I'll show you guys the Got the Bob Marley right there, another Bob Marley. Like I said, the little Carmel Anthony jersey. Got the New York hacks. We're in New York here. Got, got my support of the Chicago Bulls. That's my basketball team. Football team in Philadelphia Eagles. Some shoes up here. Nike Lunar Raids. Fresh. Buffalo Bills fleece. I got love for the Bills since they're close here in New York. Harlem Globetrotters program. A couple signatures on there from some of their players. It was cool. Brand new Spalding basketball. Big thing of dice right here. And their Revenge the Cool Kid shirt right there. So, just this is just a, a fun little short podcast. 15, 20 minutes at the most each time. Keep it brief. I know people don't like those long ones unless it's something crazy or talkative with multiple people. So, this is just me. Sometimes there might be someone else or other people but for now just me giving my thoughts on sports some sports news and stuff like that you know anyways everyone this was the sports talk with desmond witt episode one so hopefully people watch this and like it anyways it'll be on instagram snapchat facebook whatever youtube all that good stuff it'll have it in the info on everything i posted on so be ready for that but anyways peace Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh.